So, we're halfway through the 2024 AMA Pro Motocross season, and man, has it been a wild ride. Everything we thought we knew? Throw it out the window. We've got one class that's tighter than a drum, keeping us all on the edge of our seats, and another where we're watching some next-level domination. Now let's talk about the defending 450MX champ, Jet Lawrence. This kid's been battling since that nasty spill in the Hangtown opener. His shoulder's been giving him grief, and he's thinking about getting an MRI to see what's really going on under the hood. But get this, even with this nagging injury, he's been on a tear, taking three straight overalls at Thunder Valley, High Point, and Southwick. Talk about grit. After the Southwick race, Jet faced the press. They grilled him about how his shoulder held up, especially after Chase Sexton made that move and pulled ahead for the win. Jed admitted he thought the weekend off would have fixed him up better than it did. That's got his team worried. This injury might be worse than they initially thought. Here's where it gets really interesting for the 450 title hunt. The champ's hurting, and he hasn't had the red plate since Hangtown. But don't count him out. He's only three points behind his brother Hunter, and he closed that gap even more after Southwick. The million-dollar question now is, how much pain can Jet handle? We've got six more rounds to go, and he's still racking up wins while injured. If he can gut it out, we might see him clinch another championship. This is the kind of drama that makes motocross so damn exciting. You've got a wounded champ, fighting through the pain, trying to hold off the competition. It's like something out of a movie, but it's happening right in front of us. The press conference was surprisingly short this time around, only about seven minutes. Not sure what that was about. Maybe the media guys were worn out from a busy Friday, but even in that short time, you could feel the tension. Everyone's wondering if Jet's gonna need surgery and what that could mean for the rest of the season. So, as we head into the back half of the season, keep your eyes on Jet Lawrence. This kid's showing us what it means to be a champion. It's not just about speed, it's about heart, grit, and the willingness to push through the pain. Whether he can keep it up and defend his title, well, that's why we watch the races, isn't it? So, Chase's dad drops this bomb saying his boys passed his seventh drug test of the year. Seventh? That's more pea cups than most of us have had hot dinners this month. But here's where it gets spicy. He's not just bragging about his son being clean. Nah, he's calling out the system. He's basically saying, hey, my kid's peeing in cups left and right. How about you start testing some other riders? It's a not-so-subtle jab at the fairness of the whole testing process. You can almost hear the frustration in his words, right? Now, this isn't just some dad blowing hot air. This stuff matters in motocross. Remember James Stewart? Back in 2014, the guy got slapped with a 16-month suspension for popping positive on a test. That's not a slap on the wrist. That's a career-altering punishment. It's a reminder of how high the stakes are in this sport. One failed test and you're not just losing a race. You could be losing over a year of your career. And in a sport where you've got a limited window to make your mark, that's huge. But here's the thing. Sexton's dad's post isn't just about the tests. It's about the perception of fairness. He's basically asking, if my kid's getting tested this much, are all the other riders getting the same treatment? It's that age-old question in sports. Is the playing field really level? This kind of call-out could shake things up. It might put pressure on the officials to be more transparent about their testing procedures. Or it could ruffle some feathers among other riders and teams. Either way, it's thrown a spotlight on an issue that's often kept in the shadows. So, as we head into the next races, keep an eye out. This isn't just about what happens on the track anymore. There's a whole other race happening behind the scenes, and Sexton's dad just fired the starting pistol. It'll be interesting to see if any other riders or their families speak up, or if the officials respond. One thing's for sure, the motocross world just got a little more dramatic. And hey, isn't that part of why we love this sport? It's not just about the bikes and the jumps. It's about the personalities, the controversies, and the real human stories behind it all. Buckle up, folks. 
this season just got even more interesting. We've got some juicy updates from the Star Yamaha camp, and it's looking like the cavalry might be coming back sooner than we thought. First off, let's talk about the big man himself, Eli Tomac. Jeremy Coker, the Star Yamaha team manager, is dropping hints that we might see Tomac back in the saddle before the outdoor season wraps up. They're eyeing Bud's Creek for his return. Now, if you know anything about Tomac, you know he doesn't do anything halfway. If he's coming back, you can bet he's going to be coming in hot. But wait, there's more. Cooper Webb, the guy who's been nursing that thumb injury, is apparently on track to make his comeback at Unadilla. That's right, folks. Coop's back on the bike, and if all goes according to plan, we'll see him tearing up the track at Unadilla. Now, let's put this into perspective. If both these comebacks pan out, we're talking about Star Yamaha being back at full strength. That's like unleashing the Kraken, folks. You've got Tomac, Webb, and the rest of the Star Yamaha crew all on the line together. That's the kind of lineup that gives other teams nightmares. But here's where it gets really interesting. Word on the street is that Team USA is playing it cool. They're not rushing to name their Motocross of Nations team just yet. Why? Well, it looks like they're waiting to see how Tomac performs when he gets back on the bike. This is smart strategy, if you ask me. Tomac's a beast, we all know that. But coming back from an injury is no joke, especially at this level. Team USA wants to make sure they're fielding the strongest team possible, and that means seeing Tomac in action before they make any big decisions. So what does this all mean for the rest of the season? Well, it's about to get a whole lot more exciting, that's for sure. We've got potential comebacks, we've got Team USA selections hanging in the balance, and we've got a star Yamaha team that's chomping at the bit to get back to full strength. For the other teams out there, this has got to be like watching storm clouds gathering on the horizon. They've had their time to shine while Tomac and Webb were out, but now... Now they might have to face a fully loaded Star Yamaha team. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. Unadilla and Bud's Creek just became must-watch events. We might be about to witness some serious fireworks in the motocross world. And as for Team USA, well, let's just say Tomic's return could shake things up in a big way. This is the kind of drama that makes our sport great, isn't it? Just when you think you've got it all figured out, boom! The whole landscape changes. Strap in, motocross fans, the rest of this season is going to be one hell of a ride. <laughs>